Something in northern Namibia has been terrorizing villagers, killing both livestock and locals. The villagers say it visited again last night, and I'm hoping that I might have the evidence caught on camera. The suspense is killing me. Oh, yes! I don't believe it. This is the world's rarest hyena, the elusive brown hyena, a creature people in the villages seldom see. And unlike the spotted hyena, this beast is covered in long, dark hair. See, apart from the big ears, he fits a description that people gave me perfectly. Vet Ulf told me that this scavenger can smell the scent of a carcass from miles away. So if a goat dies in the night from parasites, then this could well be the beast that will come and find it and take off its head. There he is. There he is. Oh. I feel so lucky to have caught something so rare on camera. Maybe only 800 of these are left in the whole of Namibia. And I believe this creature solves the mystery. When you look at the goats with no heads, I believe that the hyena, probably the brown hyena, could be the culprit. A brown hyena's jaws can open wide enough to engulf a goat's head and crack it open to get at the brain, a highly nutritious meal that means it will leave the rest of the body behind. And its appearance is very close to what witnesses report. They are not aggressive hunters like their spotted cousins, and they don't attack humans. That's why I don't think that it was a brown hyena that attacked Martin. Any mammal can carry rabies, but Helene's description of the size and the similarities to the attack in South Africa, for me, point to a rabid honey badger. This whole grisly drama could be explained by looking at multiple animals, wild creatures of the African bush.